Spatial Excel is a mapping add-in to Microsoft Excel. It allows users to display and analyze maps within the familiar Excel environment. Spatial Excel directly links your spreadsheet data to your maps to make it quick and easy to create and query any spatial data. More advanced users can also choose from a number of spatial analysis and editing tools. Spatial Excel is currently being used in many industries, including retail, insurance, logistics, market research, engineering, mining, telecommunication, and government. We will now take a look at some of the main features of Spatial Excel. Spatial Excel works with a number of different layer data types. You can load data directly from spreadsheets within Excel, or from sources outside of Excel, such as map shapefiles, or databases such as Microsoft Access, SQL Server, or even 3D data models. To add spreadsheet data to your map, you will need columns with coordinate data. If you don't have coordinates, you can use our Locate Excel add-in to geocode coordinates from your street addresses. To add the spreadsheet to my map, I click the Add Excel Layer button and this will add my data as a new layer to my map. There is now a direct link between my layer and my spreadsheet. If I make any changes or add any further data to my spreadsheet, I can immediately update my map by clicking on the refresh buttons. I can also choose to add different background layers, for example, Google Maps, Bing satellite imagery, or open source data for working offline. I can use my map navigation tools to quickly zoom to an area on my map, right down to street level. I can also add any shapefile or existing map layers from outside of Excel. As an example, I have added my administrative boundaries and some population census data. We will now take a look at how you can use Spatial Excel to work with your map data layers. Once you have added a spreadsheet as a map layer in Spatial Excel, any filters that you do in your spreadsheet will also filter and display on your map. Here, we have some points we've mapped as a layer, which could represent store locations or public facilities such as schools or hospitals. We could first filter by region, and our map will automatically update to show points in this area only. We can quickly zoom to this area using the map navigation tools. We could then further filter the selection to show either a type of store or facility, or by number to show, for example, points with high volume or revenue. We could then choose to label and display the names of these points on our map. To display all our points, we can simply clear the filter and zoom back out. We can also pivot or group our data and link this directly to a map layer. Here, we have grouped our data by region and we've linked it to our maps to display and label the total number of points per region. As we make any changes to our pivot tables, for example, to show only our shopping center numbers, the maps will automatically update to display the new numbers. You can group your data to any map layer that you have open in Spatial Excel. You can choose from a selection of map themes or heat maps to display your data in Spatial Excel. Map themes can be created on any column you have in your spreadsheet or in your map layer. You can choose to theme by color category or by number ranges. You can also theme by point size or by image to display logos or icons on your map. You can display your data trended over time or create heat maps to display clusters or hotspots. Any maps that you create in Spatial Excel can be printed from the report designer, exported as image, or copied and pasted into another program. Spatial Excel has a number of map selection tools that you can use to do locational queries between your map and your spreadsheet. 
you can use the Inspector tool to select and view information for any feature on your map. Information on this feature will populate within your Inspector toolbox and you can click on the Select in Excel button to highlight this particular record in your spreadsheet. You can also use the Excel selection tools to locate records from your spreadsheet on your map. You can do this for a single record or for multiple records. To do a selection on more than one feature, you can choose from the square, the radius, or the area selection tools. As an example, I will select points within a 10 km radius from a location on my map. This will highlight points within the radius and it will give me a count of the total number of points in my ribbon. I can then click on the Select in Excel button to highlight these records in my spreadsheet. I could then choose to either copy out these records or I could filter them within my current spreadsheet. You can also use our Select by Location tool to do selections between multiple layers that are for example intersecting or overlapping or within a specified distance. Other map tools include the measure tool for measuring distance or area or the coordinate tools to copy coordinates directly from your map to your spreadsheet. Users can add further functionality to Spatial Excel using our add-ins Locate Excel for geocoding or generating coordinates, Route Excel for optimized routing and drive time analysis, Spatial Publisher for creating and sharing reader files, and Spatial Server for publishing maps online. Thank you for watching our video demonstration. Please feel free to contact us with any queries or to request an evaluation.